A portion of this video is sponsored by Viator. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. For the last three years, we lived in a Prius full time. Then, with lots of car troubles on the horizon, we spent five months in a truck camper on loan while searching for our next home on wheels. And we found one, but to get to it, we had to drop off the truck on the West Coast and then somehow get our stuff all the way across the country. So we rented a van from Bancraft in California and hit the road, and left off on last week's episode, continuing our way east, with a little detour sleeping at the airport to make a week-long break in Mexico to see the family. Here we take you hiking along the coast, Oh my god. Go on dog rescue runs. You're gonna be okay. Go boating to private beaches and to check out the marine life and so much more. Leaving off, coming back, and ready to make the final drive to get the home on wheels we purchased. Before we get going on today's adventure, a big thank you to Viator for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Viator is the world's largest experience marketplace. They have everything from simple tours to extreme adventures and everything in between. And as you guys know, when Camper and I travel, we love planning big adventures. They make your time in a place that much more memorable. So let us take you through the booking process. One place I love for adventure is Moab. I cannot wait to get there. As a solo traveler, this is the perfect way for me to book that rappelling or off-roading tour that I've been wanting to do. It's super easy to search, book, and with their free cancellation policy and the fact that you can reserve now and pay later, it is so flexible. Go to Viator.com or click the link below to explore all of their offerings. One site, over 300,000 experiences you'll remember. And again, thank you Viator for sponsoring a portion of today's video. All right, camp, back on our adventure. I woke up at Cracker Barrel this morning by myself with my dog. Oh, I'm so thankful for my dog. But uh, I feel really, really sick. So we're gonna go to urgent care this morning. All right, we got some blood drawn. We'll see what's going on. Right, camp? Oh, I feel like hell. Damn it. But we have somewhere to be, so we gotta get a move on. Such a good driver. No. We're sleeping on the side of the road. I don't even care. Okay, yeah, I do care. So this is the part of living in a vehicle that people don't tell you. So I have a hundred degree fever right now. I feel sick, uh, but simultaneously I have to get across the country in the next three days. So I'm driving and tonight I'm looking for a safe place to sleep. And I was banking on going to this rest area, but it was closed. So I looked on all my maps, uh, Overlander, all the camping apps that I have, and there's nothing safe <laughs> for another like two hours. So today is one of those days in van life when everything sucks. I am so sick, but I don't want to sleep on the side of the road. So yeah, just a reminder. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And you're alone and there's no one there to help. I know, you're very helpful, I'm sorry. And there's no humans to help, <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're gonna go to a truck stop and that's in like two hours, that's safe. It's fully lit, lots of people, full service. Getting worse here. Hundred point six eight. Oh my goodness! Yes, camper, we have made it to the motherland. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I've stayed here before. I've stayed at this love so many times. This is one of my favorite loves. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so excited. You're just chilling on the dash. All right, let's find a place to sleep, dude. Um, oh, yeah. 
That spot looks good. So I don't think I told you guys, but I need a pedicure. These toes are like double the size of these ones. They really hurt. So we'll find out tomorrow, but the doctor thinks it's either a really bad infection and that's why I have a fever or it is some type of arthritis like gout or hopefully not septic. I'd probably be in the hospital if that was the case. <sighs> Drunk drawer of champions. Okay, in order to take my meds, I need to eat food. Crap, I have no appetite. Oh, I stole this from the clinic this morning. Whoopsies. Thanks, guys. I really needed that pen. <sighs> Nothing looks good. I don't want to eat, but I have to. Um... Oh, think, think, think. Mm. I think maybe I'll just have some yogurt or broth. I have broth. Oh, yes. We're making broth. Pretty sure I need something of substance, though. What do I do with broth? I'll figure it out later. Oh my god, I'm so weak. <coughs> I cough. Maybe it's the flu. Let's do this. Clean. Camper boy is gonna get some of this tonight too. You were being a good boy. Oh. Should probably just drink the whole thing. I just save some for tomorrow. Who's ready for a good time? Let's make it hot, honey. Here you go. This will probably go down easy. Oh God. Oh, that was too hot. As if it couldn't get any worse. Now I have no taste buds. I have no brain cells from last week. I got no taste buds from this. My brain is literally frying right now. You're gonna have to hold us together, camp the brains of this operation. This is 103.1. I'm sweating. Ugh. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna take all these meds. And we're gonna be great. We were gonna be fine. Uh, how did this end up in here? This is what they used to draw blood earlier. Ow. My life's a mess. All right, we're crawling into bed. Wait. <laughs> I love you and I want to play. I need you to come under the covers. <sighs> this is how we're going to go to bed. I'm going to turn the lights off. I love you.
night camper. Mm. I love this whenever Camper or I are sick. That's the only time we snuggle. Camper, will you get me some water? Camper, will you get me some hot broth? <coughs> Got it. We're in the danger zone. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. Oh, God. Well, I can officially say the truck stop is where I felt my absolute best and my absolute worst. Oh. Who would have thought? <laughs> we gotta go back inside. It's cold. I need more Tylenol. Look at that. No fever dance. Oh, I ruined it because I've talked. Damn it. Yesterday, we got it down to 100.1. It's too hot. She goes for it anyways. <laughs> it's too hot. Oh, God. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Broth, anyone? All right, I'm going to force myself to eat something and take these meds, and we're going to hit the road. And we are definitely having a full pajama day. Good boy. <laughs> Trying to take a nap. three-hour nap, we can get back on the road again. Wow, this episode is going to be a shit show, huh? We gotta make a stop here to fuel up, maybe stretch the legs a little bit. I think I can finally stomach some coffee and we're gonna utilize a clean restroom. Gotta love when you're using someone else's water supply. I feel like I'm one big free loves walking advertisement. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> That snow accumulating. All right, 
You guys know I love a good truck stop shower. That is like my jam. But uh, when I went inside and asked how much it was, the prices went up again. Apparently the national average right now for a truck stop shower out of pocket is 15 to $18. I sometimes get really lucky and a trucker will be behind me and see me paying and donate one of their unlimited or one of their free ones because uh, they fuel up so much. I just don't think I could take that chance today. I can't justify paying $15 for a shower when there's like a Planet Fitness on route in like an hour or two. So Planet Fitness we go. We gotta clean up. It's raining, it's pouring, camper, camper snoring. Oh my God, I gotta turn on Google Maps. Off! Oh, we are two wheel drive, that's bad. We have made it to free showers. Well, they're not free, they're $25 a month, but yeah. Need to take a shower. Yeah. Why do I have so many things that are exactly the same? <laughs> oh, we're a mess. Shower bag. Wow, it's snowing. It's bright out too. Oh my God. Terrible choice in footwear, Nikiti. Oh, it's cold. Hi, camp. <laughs> what is that? Oh yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, it is starting to snow again. And uh, apparently there are storms coming in. So I think we're gonna have to make a detour here. Um, originally we were gonna go through Rifle and Vale, but they are getting eight to 10 inches of snow tonight and this van is only two wheel drive. So I think we're gonna have to take it north through Wyoming cause they're only getting like two to three inches of snow. So I think we're gonna have to go the safe route. We're going more north. You want to get somewhere where we can go run? Maybe get in the snow a little bit? All right, we're gonna stop in this big random lot over here to get some of that little boy's energy out, I think. All right, that was good, back on the road. We'll keep going in waves of like, feeling okay and feeling like bloody hell. This is tough. Two wheel drive socks. Yes, sir. <sighs> All right, we bought some wiper fluid. Yes, I am.
This sucks. This sucks. Being sick is terrible. Your destination is on the right. We were originally planning to wild camp, and then when we heard about the snow, I was thinking we would just drive all the way through, but I am so tired, so rest stop it is. Ugh, but it's pretty snowy, so this could get a little weird. Nope not staying here. I just checked the weather advisory and it said that it will most likely snow all through the night into tomorrow morning. And these are obviously not maintained. So I think we should go somewhere with a lot of traffic. Oh my God. We're going to do it, aren't we? Mm. We're going to go to a truck stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're just going to go to a truck stop. I can't believe it. Yeah. All right, we might as well just call this episode Truck Stop Chronicles. All right, here we go. Just another day, another truck stop. A few more miles to go. Me old, we got another loves coming up. Woo! Oh, a glimpse of light. There it is. I hate to break it to you guys, but I think we might have also gotten out of the area affected by the severe snowstorms so we won't be getting stuck today <laughs> sorry we will be getting to the rig i locked not as fun i know but it's safe i'm sick give me a break we are back baby Woo! give me some Food, sleep. I don't even know. Welcome to my cooking show, where we take the only things that are left in this van and turn them into a soup. Maybe a little leftover from cooking yesterday. Side note, so like I didn't know this and I probably should have known this, but you can't use any pan on an induction cooktop. So like all of my old pans from propane and the jet boil and the uh, hot plate that I had and all my other rigs did not work in here. Everything sticks to this thing. So yeah, not the biggest fan. Maybe I just need a new pan. We're gonna take some rice. We're gonna pour it in the pan. soup. I hope it's still good. I actually don't know. This has been in there for a while, but whatever. I was hoping to put more stuff in here, but I don't really have that much stuff. <laughs> Oops. Um, I got a bagel, half a bagel. I got nuts. I got tuna. I got corn, corn and beans. That might be really weird with also tomato soup, but could also be delicious. Should we just do it? Yeah, probably. Oh, gross. But also maybe delicious. Oh God, this actually might be a mistake. <laughs> I'm immediately regretting every decision I've made. Oh well. We came this far, might as well finish it off. 
I feel like a lot of you guys are actually constantly asking me about some of the meals that I make and truly every meal that I make is a complete experimentation of throwing everything I have together because I feel like more flavors, more healthy stuff, more fun. Throw it all together and hope for the best. I normally am pretty confident in stuff, but this is actually looking pretty nasty. So, yeah, there you have it. You have outdone yourself, Nicole. Good job. Mm. I call this too sick to make more of a mess. Too sick to clean. Mm. That's really good. It's time to put this away and go to bed. You're so playful. <laughs> Go ahead. Good boy. <laughs> Good night. I gotta reach out with my foot. Good morning, camper. That's a lot more snow. We gotta hurry up. Oh, it do not feel good. But we must get to our car. Mm. You guys, being stuck on the road is like one of the worst things ever. Not only does it feel like crap, but it is so expensive. Uh, I've been traveling full time for almost seven or eight years now, and I've done a ton of research on insurance and everything, and I still have yet to find a plan that is affordable and nationwide. Uh, currently, I spend three or four hundred dollars a month for more of a catastrophic insurance. What that does is it just makes sure that I don't lose absolutely everything if I end up in an emergency or in an emergency room. Um, but that also means that if I need a doctor, and I'm not in Texas, then I'm paying fully out of pocket. Of course, if anyone has found anything in all of these years, please feel free to leave it below, but at least for Texas, uh, there are <laughs> there are not a lot of options. So if you are planning to do this, make sure you stay healthy, eat your fruits and vegetables, uh, <laughs> and make sure you have a good savings account just in case for emergencies. Also, before I forget, I know a lot of you have uh, suggested travel insurance in the past. Um, I actually used to sell travel insurance when I worked for this travel company. And uh, let me tell you, it is way too expensive to use travel insurance full time. Uh, but also that's usually really mostly applicable for like week long trips or going abroad. So let's cross that off. Also, private insurance usually costs thousands of dollars, and there was one plan I heard about, but when I went to try it, I learned that they make you pay everything on your own upfront, and that most of the time they make excuses not to pay you back, and it ends up being more of a headache than you've ever wanted it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Camper, look, it's our new home. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. For all of you guys who are wondering how I film all this stuff, I got three different tripods. They were all like 10 bucks on Amazon. And I do a lot of back and forth. Keeps you strong and active. Right, baby? That's what we gotta train you to do next. We gotta train you to go put this down somewhere. Okay, take it. <laughs> he goes, uh, uh, that's not my job. I know better.